Hello everyone and welcome to another video and in this video we are going to take a look at this pen tablet from Huion and this is the Huion H610 Pro now if you're watching this video then you probably know that how difficult it is to draw or write anything on a computer by just using your mouse to solve that problem we use a device like this which is a pen tablet in which you get this active area and this pen with which you can draw or write anything on your drawing or writing software. Huion is a Chinese company and we all know that Wacom is the uh, the industry leader in manufacturing pen tablets. So quickly le let's look at the content of the box. So in the box you get the tablet itself which is quite big. In fact it is the biggest tablet that you can get under 8000 rupees. Uh, these buttons are fully customizable but they work out of the box in Photoshop. On top of the buttons you will see this LED which blinks when the tablet is active and it glows continuously when the pen is in con contact with the uh, drawing surface. The buttons are like undo, the eraser, pen, zoom in, zoom out, uh, increase the size of your brush decrease the size of your brush and there is this hand tool uh, if we talk about the dimension of the tablet then this width is about eight six and a half inches long and the length is about 10 inches long the build quality of this tablet is decent but for 8000 rupees i was expecting a little more better than this uh, the tablet connects with your pc using this usb 2.0 cable which they supply the other content of the box is the manual which we are never going to read but you can read if you want to there's this driver which we are not going to use we are going to download the latest driver from the website in the box you get these four extra nibs and one is already installed in the pen this centerpiece is for uh, removing the nibs from the pen but i find it much easier to remove the nibs from the pen by just using my fingers the other thing is the pen itself the pen is rechargeable it is wireless so this is the pen this is not quite big neither very small it's quite comfortable to draw and write anything on the screen on the back there is no eraser but this is actually the charging port they do give you this cap protective cap for the protection of the nib the nib is not is quite good quality there's this rubber texture on the pen there's these two buttons on the pen which are customizable using the Huion software. When I first started using this tablet, the pen did not work, so I had to charge it and it took me about exactly three hours and five minutes to charge the pen. There's a red LED under these buttons which shine through the button when the pen is charging and the red LED will stop glowing when the pen is fully charged. The nibs are removable and the one was already installed in the pen the other fours are in the box that i've just shown you anyways there's this part which screws onto the nib thing like so uh, let me just do it okay and then you can use this thing to put your pen like this this is this is the charging cable for the pen this is like old style Nokia charger cable but I tried the Nokia charger and it did not work with this pen other thing is the cable with which you connect your tablet to your PC it feels good quality and the length of the cable is about one and a half meter long so let's just quickly connect this uh, tablet to our PC and see, let me show you how it works now as you can see it works right out of the box you don't even have to install the software but if you want to install the software go ahead 
and click on the browser so here we I have connected my tablet to the PC and let's see let's go ahead and go to the Huion tablet driver go to Google Chrome and type in uh, Huion tablet and you will see this website which says uh, Huion tablet go ahead and click on the Huion tablet.com once you click on the Huion tablet.com go ahead and click on the support On support you can see there is this download button let me just zoom it in there we go there's this download button and you can see all those uh, models that uh, drivers that you can download on this website so our driver is Hyon H610 Pro and you can download the drivers for Windows and Mac so I've already downloaded the drivers let's just close the Huion. So once you've installed the software, go ahead and click on the start button and you will see which uh, icon which says pen tablet driver. Click on that. Once you do that, go to your taskbar and in your taskbar you see this icon. Uh, click on it once. Once you've done that, you will see this Huion driver opens. And let me just focus on that. Okay there we go so as you can probably see that there is not much of things that you can do with this software you can change the pressure sensitivity which only clicks into place which is not uh, really uh, you can don't set uh, small differences the other thing is you can set the function for right and left button in your mouse uh, you can change different settings for different size of monitor you can change the pen pressure using this bar and in the advanced setting you can change the amount of active area that you want to use you can define how much area on the screen you want to use and these button that you can see k1 k2 k3 are for the buttons on the pen tablet uh, as you can see these buttons you can set these button differently assign them different functions uh, there is also soft buttons which you click with your pen and you can enable them if you enable them uh, the amount of area active area is decreased but you will get this a small up to 16 soft buttons which you can use by clicking your uh, pen but I don't use them so let's just cancel them uh, there's nothing more to set using the pen tablet driver so this is the test of the Huion H610 Pro pen tablet using the Microsoft PowerPoint we all use PowerPoint and you can use this tablet to teach your students or give lectures or do your presentation so I've opened a blank page and if you go ahead and click on the slideshow button or the full screen button you will see let me just point it there you go on the left bottom you can see this pen and here different you have these different options uh, you can use a ballpoint pen which is not much visible uh, you can use a felt pen which is like this you can use a highlighter which is going to be like this you can use this to highlight your illustrations and you can change the color of your ink let's say I want to use green highlighter this is the green highlighter or green felt pen let me just change the color of uh, green this is the green felt pen you can also use the eraser to erase your drawings so it works really good in 
Microsoft PowerPoint. That was the test of the pen tablet using Microsoft PowerPoint. Now this is Word, Microsoft Word. We all use Word in our day-to-day -day activities. What you want to do is go ahead on top of on top of the screen if you can see there is this button which says review uh, which is this one go ahead and click on the review button once you've clicked on the review button you get different options so if you go ahead and see there is this red button which says start inking click on the start inking button and then your all the function changes there is different function available for you you can use again you can use uh, ballpoint pen so this is the ballpoint pen this is the felt pen felt pen the highlighter uh, the highlighter and you can change the color let's say uh, go with uh, blue blue and also you have this eraser okay let's go ahead and close the window no and finally we have we are going to test this in the microsoft onenote so i have opened a window of microsoft onenote microsoft office onenote and this is the best software for taking notes and making notes for uh, college projects and schools if you are a student so let me just go ahead and click on the eraser and let's delete everything in this you have different options you can choose different kind of color different pen different sizes let's just choose 1.5 and let's change the color of our pen to uh, a little blue so you can draw, draw different drawings you can draw illustration you can teach your students easily which was very which would have been very difficult when using a mouse hello so this is the test of the pen tablet using the photoshop i've opened a new document now go ahead i can select i've selected the brush button you can click on the button back button of the uh, pen and you will see uh, that the brush window opens let me just choose a brush this is good enough and let's just draw a tree a small tree I just choose a little bit of brown color that's about right just make it a little dark and I'm going to decrease the size of the brush that's about right and just make a tree okay now let's make the color a little darker and make some branches now make some sub, sub branches okay let click on right click on the button and let's choose a leaf brush this is the leaf brush as you can see let's decrease the size of the leaf brush and let's make it a little vibrant let's choose this color okay i'm sorry click okay and start painting i'm sorry let's change the color click ok and you will see that you can paint your tree you can draw anything using this pen tablet it makes it much much easier to draw or write anything which would have been much difficult to write anything without using a pen tablet let me just 
uh, use some button as you can see I am just going to use button on the tablet and I will start deleting things this is the undo button as you can see the line goes and comes back I can use the increase this zoom in and zoom out using the buttons I can also select the brush using the button I can increase the size of the brush as you can see over the right I am increasing size of the brush I can also decrease the size of the brush I can use the hand tool the brush becomes the hand tool I can also change my change from brush to eraser now it is a eraser let me just so show you as you can see I'm able to erase everything using the eraser I can again click on the brush tab I've click on the brush tab and now again I've got the brush back let's click on the eraser again so I've clicked on the eraser again and I'm going to delete this black thing that I've just drawn and I have del removed everything so that's about this uh, pen tablet I hope you like this video and yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you to make the right choice and thank you for watching with this video